All right, now we're going to read Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. And every time we see a monkey fall off the bed, I want you to show me how many monkeys are left on the bed, okay? But using your fingers. So we're gonna use our fingers to count how many monkeys are left on the bed. Okay, Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. It was bedtime, so five little monkeys took a bath. Five little monkeys put on their pajamas. And five little monkeys brushed their teeth. Can you show me five fingers? Good. Five little monkeys said good night to their mama. Looks like they're up to trouble. Then, five little monkeys jumped on the bed. How many monkeys do we have? Five. One fell off and bumped his head. How many are left? Show me with your fingers. One, two, three, four. Four fingers. Then, Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So four little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh no, how many are left? Count and show me. Three monkeys are left. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys have bumped their head? One, two, two monkeys. So three little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. How many are left? Two monkeys are left. The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So two little monkeys jumped on the bed. Two monkeys, one, two. One fell off and bumped his head. Uh-oh. How many monkeys are left? Show me, show me. One monkey is left. The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys have fell and bumped their head? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So the little, so, so one little monkey jumped on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. Uh-oh. How many monkeys are left on the bed? Zero monkeys. The mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys have bumped their heads? Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. That makes all the monkeys. So five little monkeys fell fast asleep. Thank goodness, said the mama. Now I can go to bed. Oh, how many monkeys are jumping on the bed now? One, and that's the mama monkey. All right, this week we have learned to count to five and write our numbers from one to five, okay? So now, today we're going to be practicing those, writing those numbers, okay? The first choice you guys have is this one. What is the first thing we do? We have our name. We are going to count the dots in the ladybug, okay? We're going to count how many dots the ladybug has, okay? So let's count. One, 
2. Okay, now we're going to write the number 2. Remember, around and back on the railroad track. 2, 2. Next one. Let's do another one. Let's count this one. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do you remember how to write a 5? You remember, number 5 has a neck, belly, and a hat. Okay? Remember, our card says Mr. 5 has a short neck, a belly, and a hat. Okay? All right. So I want you to count all the dots in the ladybug and then write the number that goes underneath, okay? The next worksheet we have is the rainbow writing. And we're going to be practicing the number three, four, and five, okay? First things first, our name at the top. Okay, rainbow writing. We're going to start at the dot. Remember, that's like our star. So we're going to do around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make a number three. Number four, we're going to start at the dot, down and over and down once more. That's how we write a number four. All right, number five, my favorite. Neck, belly, and hat. All right, remember, rainbow writing, you use different colors, so do this over, and make sure you do all of them, okay? 